गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो वी आर हेयर अगेन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड एक्सप्लेन द चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ एस एस टी जोग्राफी का लेटस कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड कवर्ड अप टू द बायोस्फियर हाउ नाउ लेट इस start with the same topic about biosphere little bit so the biosphere is home to all living organisms like from producers to consumers and decomposer as i said that biosphere is the home to all the living organisms means that those who produces and those who consume it so let us start from the producers producers are who produces food simple it means that those who make the food they are also known as autotrophs because they prepare their own food by using water sunlight etc so what is the exam what can be example of the producers or autotrophs it is just like a green plants which pre- which prepare their food by their own now moving to the next that is a consumer so consumers are who that consume food which is prepared by the others others means producers so they are also known as heterotrophs why they are known as a heterotrophs because they depend upon the others they cannot prepare their food by their own so when living beings are directly or indirectly depend on the plants for their food so they are known as heterotrophs or the consumers like goat sheep dog etc now these consumers or heterotrophs are categorized into three let us start with the first herbivores now what are herbivores the animals which eat plant only so what are the animals which on which uh, eat only plants we have already read a lot of herbivores in the different classes in the previous classes now the example for the herbivores are rabbit sheep goat etc these are the herbivores they only depend upon the green grasses or green plants they are known as the herbivores now carnivores so the carnivores animals which mostly eat meat or the flesh of the animals for example lion snake etc etc so these are the carnivores because they are the only dependent upon the flesh of the other animals now the next is omnivores what are omnivores so an organism uh sorry it's uh, an omnivores is an animal uh, is an animal that eat both plant and animal for their main food so what can be the example of the omnivores bear pig rat or yes we also human being human being is are also known as omnivores because we eat both kind of things whether it is a, a, a green plants whether it is a meat or flesh now next move to the decomposers so decomposers are who decomposers are the micro organisms such as bacteria which causes the breakdown of our dead animals and the plants so when plant and animal get died these decomposers these bacteria works now they decompose all the dead animals plants into chemicals such as nitrogen carbon dioxide etc these chemicals become plant of the part of the soil and 
those nutrients can can then be used by the living plants and the other so means the decomposes only what they do their work is done they decomposes all the dead bodies of animals and plant and it provide it converted everything into the chemicals and those chemicals are get mixed with the soil as well as in the environment and it it is used by then others so we will talk it further in the next in in, in the next topic now uh, see there is a pyramid on your screen let us start with the last layer of the pyramid what you are you are observing in that uh, last layer of the pyramid that are the decomposers so this decomposers are we have studied just now they last uh, the uh, decomposers <coughs> decomposers are who those who decomposes every living thing so these waste these dead bodies mix with the soil and it provide the nutrient to the other the other layer the last second layer is the primary producers there you can see they produces the food means plants now moving to the third, last third layer of the pyramid they are the herbivores they are also known as the primary consumer why they are known as a primary consumer because they are dependent upon the primary producers like goat rabbit etc now moving to the next that is the last fourth layer carnivores or omnivores they are also known as the secondary consumers because they are directly depend upon the primary consumers whether they are carnivores or they are omnivores the last layer of the pyramid is the top carnivores which means the tertiary consumers they directly they only dependent upon the animals like lion or the flesh eaters animals they are known as the top carnivores or the tertiary consumers now move to the next topic ecosystem what is ecosystem an ecosystem is made up of animal plant and bacteria as well as the physical and chemical environment they live in means that ecosystem consist biotic environment as well as a biotic environment and also they are interdependent on each other let me explain you with the help of this chain now just observe this chain which is visible on your screen let us start with the producers so producers are who the producers are plants okay now whatever the producer produces it is eaten by whom consumed so what is consumer is representing over here the herbivores and as well as carnivores so what so whatever it is produces by the producers it is eaten by consumers like herbivores and the carnivores so we have studied earlier ki herbivores are those who depend upon the plants and carnivores those who eat the herbivores now when these consumers get died they get decomposed by the decomposers like bacteria fungus etc and after decomposing they releases different kind of abiotic chemicals which mix with the soil as well as in the environment like carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen and other minerals now again when it's come to produces they again produces food but with the help of the abiotic chemicals which is present in the atmosphere so this chain is continuously working and working so that our ecosystem is get balanced by through it 
so are you able to understand the ecosystem means they all are dependent interdependent upon each other whether they are producers whether they are consumers whether they are decomposers or whether they are which is uh, we have talked about we have talked about uh, physical or uh, chemical environment so all are dependent upon each other now the next topic of the chapter is human environment so it is uh, it is understood that ki uh, human environment means that artificial environment that is created by the human so uh, in, now we can set a example for that building road many more things are there that is constructed by the human uh, so how the human change its environment the question is that. so answer is here activities such as clearing of forest land lumbering mining etc these things degraded our environment yes what so ever activities that is done by the human that is changed our environment we people had degraded our environment human needs are very important things that is make the things to be used by the used by them whatsoever it is it is provided by the nature the thing is that is there something that we can do for this thing that we can stop the degre- degradation of the environment yes the answer is here by the sustainable development so what is sustainable development let us look at the next slide so sustainable development is a development that means the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs means that whatsoever we are using right now a days it is just because our ancestor make us made and that we are using right now so because they left all those thing for us that we can use it but nowadays population is increasing people are utilizing more and more resources so the things which are fixed which can be which can which is uh, non renewable thing it can be finished on some time so what we can do is that we have to use all those things w- without wasting it yes we all we all are dependent upon this or those things which are using nowadays but we have to use all those things in a good manner way that we can use it and also preserve it for the future generation so this is the sustainable development if we'll do that we can protect our earth we can also protect our generation and we provide them what we had used in our lifetime so this chapter is finished thank you students goodbye